What's up everybody? How's it going? This video is not sponsored by Red Bull. Damn. Hit that record button. That video that you just watched is actually my first client's work. And it's also my first paid work even though I didn't take the money. So here I go. It's been only one and a half months since I picked up my Sony a7 III and started shooting and learning about filmmaking. And I'm already getting paid, huh? The owner of that CrossFit gym, Middle Island, wanted to pay me, but because it was my first client's work, I didn't want to have the pressure that comes with money. So I told the guy that I was going to do it for free. For free! And if he would like the result, we can continue cooperating on a paid basis. And guess what? The guy eventually offered me a pine, a pound pound, a pineapple. <laughs> yeah, pineapple. You, you made a video, have a pineapple. The guy eventually offered me a part-time job as a content creator for his gym. Anyway, let's get into the filming process itself. The first thing that I had to deal with was that the actor that I was filming wasn't actually an actor. It was a real client of the gym. I was practically shooting a real-time training session and was supposed to catch the right moments of it, which wasn't easy at all. The person who isn't used to being on camera would generally behave unnaturally. For example, have some unnatural awkward movements, looking straight at the camera and so on. And what I found very useful is to set sort of a social connection with your subject to help them feel at ease. Right after I introduced myself and had a little chat with the person I was shooting, the whole process went differently. It helped a lot to make those movements more relaxed and natural. Another point that I want to make here is light and not the light that you're gonna use to light your subject but the light that you have in the gym because you are most likely going to shoot with high frame rate it at the same time will raise the chance to get that flickering of the light bulbs on your footage that you wouldn't be able to do anything with in post for that reason before shooting i made a couple of test shots with different frame rates and played them on my laptop that I brought specifically for that purpose. And it is also a good one to check your exposure and white balance. I don't have an external monitor yet, so for me it is the way to make sure that I'm doing everything right. By the way, talking about white balance, this point is not exactly about fitness videos, it's just the point that I got to realize making this particular video, and I feel like sharing. After making this clip, it finally dawned on me that setting your white balance as automatic isn't a good idea. When editing I realized that all the shots have different look to them, different colors, what created certain feeling of inconsistency. And to be honest, my color grading skill at this point sucks, I couldn't really do much to correct it. So after that experience I bought a gray card to set my white balance manually. And I strongly advise you to do the same. You know hydration is very important. You need to hydrate properly. My friend Boris didn't hydrate much and he died premature. Alright, getting back to the topic of filming gym videos. Before making my video, I watched a few fitness videos on YouTube and I found out that not many of them 
follow the storytelling structure, introduction, climax, and the end. In my video, I wanted to have this structure. So I first took care of the beginning and of the end, because what to put in the middle actually isn't that big of a deal. I hope in my video, I managed to show it clearly how the action develops from the beginning to the end. I believe that if you're making a fitness video or gym video in pretty much any video, you don't want to just put a bunch of cool shots together and be happy about it. It's always a good idea turn that video into a story because with the stories you get more chances to get people engaged. While the internet is full of cool shots of workout and pretty much anything else. And the last point that I want to make in this video is not exactly about workout videos but about the fact that it was my first work for somebody else and I want to be very honest here telling you how frustrating was that. If you are guys somewhat like me, doing or trying to do some creative work, you may relate to this feeling. When you create something and expose it to others for their judgment, you put yourself into a very vulnerable position. You let them to decide whether your work is good or not. And to be honest, I myself not a big fan listening to opinions of others, but in this case, there seemed to be no other way. You just can't tell all by yourself where your work stands. This was the most difficult part for me personally. At some point I was very close to a burnout because I was very emotionally drained. I assume that most people who do some creative work at some point get into this frustration. So I encourage you not to give up and if you feel like you're starting to burn out, just to take a little step back, relax, do nothing and then come back to it stronger. Peace. Until I'm black and blue I'm just